Hi, this is Sneaky from Cloud9, and this is my basic champion guide, Draven. Draven in solo queue is pretty strong. The risk you always run is just getting, you know, five man all the time and losing all your stacks, dying, which happens pretty often, but I think it's okay. Uh, Draven's pretty lane dominant, depending on depending on supports mainly, but he can abuse enemy AD carries probably the hardest of any others. Landing for Draven is pretty interesting a lot of times you can bully out the enemy laner uh there's not many people who can actually fight you i think tristana is one of the only ones that have a chance just because it's it's hard to trade with her and usually normally there's like a trade-off for if she wants to go for the last hit or uh attack you when you can attack her but she makes that less of an option with you know killing the creep and it's still doing explosion damage to you so it's hard it's hard to fight her and you can't really get in range of her without her being in range of you and her explosive charge so i recommend being careful against tristana all the other ones are pretty straightforward callista is probably the scariest of them i think you went out against callista but depending on the support matchup uh if she has a range support it could be pretty terrorizing for you as draven since if they both auto attack you you're gonna get chunked super hard draven's a really strong team fighter the issue is not having much mobility if you ever get dove but if he's ever left alone, he's going. To, you're, you're going to kill the entire team basically by yourself. Uh, you just do insane damage. Your ulti can kill their backline, even though you're the backline yourself, which is really nice. But yeah, besides that, really strong team fire. Just play back, hit the front line. Uh, if the enemy backline walks into your range, you're probably just going to one shot them. So the tip I have for Draven is using his ulti. You can actually you can get some kills that you normally couldn't get when you're trying to snipe someone across the map just by activating the ult early so that it's harder for them to dodge the, the coming back part because when you activate it early it starts coming back to you immediately but it goes a little bit farther and then it'll it'll basically go through them and come back directly on top of them rather than going through them flying a little bit far behind them and then coming back which gives them time to dodge but if you can time it correctly you can pull it back directly on top of them runes for draven are basically the same as any other ad take 980 reds, 9 armor yellows, 3 attack speed quints, and then it's a little bit varying of the glyphs. The one I'm using at the moment for all ADs are 3 magic resist, 2 mana regen, and 4 attack speed. Masteries are pretty simple as well. Same across all ADs, 21 9, but the difference is whether you want spell or blade weaving. Uh, for Javen, I recommend taking neither, just two points in Warlord instead. Gives you extra AD, you don't really need spell weaving or bleed weaving. Skill order for Draven is pretty simple. You just max Q, uh, blood rush, max second, or his W, and then obviously his E, last. Uh, early on for leveling, it would be, I usually go Q, one point in Q, one point in W, and then I put a point in E at three. Uh, I don't ever put an extra point in Q. I don't think it's worth it. You can do a lot more with uh, a point in E at 3, and then level 4 obviously Q. Item build for Draven is a bit different than normal. You used to build IE first, which is still viable. I still like it, and if you do that, you go Ghostblade second. But nowadays, I think Bloodthirster is better first. Even though it's worse than it was a long time ago, when Bloodthirster is like the best first item, uh, I think it's still the best item for Draven, just because of the sustain it gives, and being able to Keep on catching axes and chunking them. You don't really need the crits to do damage, which is the main reason why you can build BT. You just need to survive. And then uh, second item, I think the best item second is probably Ghostblade. The other option is Shiv. Uh, I don't really like PD second on Draven. Doesn't feel good to me. But there's also a last Esper option, which I think Crystal from Snake used to do a lot. And that's definitely not bad. I'd only recommend doing last Esper second if you're against... Um, just tons of armor. Oh, another option is uh, Infinity Edge second, which is kind of weird because it costs so much gold, but there's no real good synergistic item second with BT. Ghost Blade feels kind of awkward. Shiv is okay, feels kind of awkward. PD feels really awkward. And then Last Whisper is only really good if you have tons of armor. And then Infinity Edge actually feels pretty nice, honestly, when you get it, because you're just gonna be chunking them super hard. Uh, if, you're, if you ever crit, they'll probably just die in one hit. So it's not that bad. Um, I recommend trying it at least once. But then third item, if you went 
Ghostblade, Shiv, PD, Galas Whisper third usually. Uh, if not, you can go Infinity Edge, and then fourth is whichever one you, of those you didn't get. So if you went Last Whisper third, go BT. Bork isn't bad on Draven. Uh, I recommend BT though. Or, I mean, yeah, I, I recommend BT over Bork because the only really way you could go Bork is if you're getting it third or fourth, and you're usually getting BT first already. So it's not actually really an option for you. But besides that, obvious last item is gonna be. I guess Bork if you need more damage, a defensive item, Mercurial, Guardian Angel, or whatever really suits the game best. Thank you for watching this guide on Draven. Uh, make sure to check out the rest of my guides here at lockclass.com.